I am based in Hungary and I'm Soren based in Denmark I'm Tara I'm based in London and, and we, we are, are RMS, RMS. <laughs> we are RMS Vocal Institute we are an international online vocal school specialized in extreme vocal technique my name is Soren and I'm from Denmark as Rocky already said and um, yeah I've been teaching for RMS for two years now and been teaching and singing for at least plus 15 years now um, I specialize in ventricular folds and all styles of singing. The reason why I decided to start this school because uh, what closest to me is rock is the style that closest to me. And uh, what I noticed that there are that time when I started this, there weren't too many uh, teacher, like proper teacher who teach this. There were maybe like one or two like internationally. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I'm I decided that okay, I'm actually gonna start to work on this and learn everything about it, like lots of research, and uh, I wanted to make sure that we are doing this properly and healthy because yes, that's the main issue that even today that there are more teachers who uh, teach this or the, the distortion and screaming is more out there, people still think that this is actually harmful. Yeah, or well, they teach it in a wrong way. Exactly. Yeah. Or exactly. not at all. They have you doing all these songs or whatever, and then without teaching you the techniques, and then yeah. you, you end just, up yeah. ruining your voice, which we, I'm sure all of us have done at some point. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And now I've learned the proper procedures and how, if that's ever to happen, how to bring yourself out of it. And now I haven't lost my voice in a long time. So. Mm -hmm. That's so true, actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've been thinking last time, actually, I lost my voice. It was like uh, 12 years ago. So that's, that's yeah. and that was also because of a gig that was, you know, I didn't we hear myself. Yeah. always get sick. Yeah. That's another yeah. thing, you know, yeah. and, and eat the wrong stuff and, and so yeah. forth. But when we actually treat our voice as it should have been yeah. treated all along, then yeah. everything yeah. would No, that shouldn't place. happen. The hoarseness yeah. and losing your voice for months shouldn't happen. No, 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 that's not normal. So, yes. so that's what we're here for, basically, showing you that right way. Yes. For Fixing everything. All singing for extreme yeah. vocals. Yeah. Um, you can do hours of belting and distortion and everything, just yeah. like, you know, exactly. We teach a whole day yeah. with different yeah. distortions. That's the thing, yeah, we, <laughs> yeah. Can, yeah, we teach all day, on morning yeah. to evening, and we are fine. Yeah. yeah. Of course our voice can get tired like anyone else if we don't speak loud enough or whatever, if we start... Or correct placement. Yeah, correct placement, even, yes. yeah. So, yeah. those things can happen to anyone, so we start showing you guys how to speak correctly first, and then sing, yeah. and then effects. Yeah, we need to go back from the very basics because if somebody comes to us to actually they want to learn this style, screaming or distortion yeah. or whatever it is, we always go back to the basics to make sure that everything you know that you have a basic fundamental knowledge, yeah. placement, position. So think about like screaming and distortion as like a, an advanced vocal technique. So you yeah. always have to learn the basics first before you move on to the to, exactly. the, to the sound effect. Yeah, exactly. So basically, even though that when I when the, the reason why I started, I like I said that there was like a big niche yeah. that, uh, of, of these type of uh, vocal techniques. Uh, now lately, there are I think even more. And the thing is that you would think that there are more teachers out there, but no, because what you see on YouTube, a lot of videos, a lot of tutorial videos, tutorials from actual. <laughs> screamers or singers who are not teachers and they don't know how to do it properly they just try to explain how they did it yeah. and many times they they don't use the the right terms the right sensations yeah even. absolutely not yeah. and and there are so many people just actually relying on the on the youtube videos which is which is i would say it's not really a it's not uh, correct so you if you if you want, don't want to lose your voice if you want to do this seriously and take yourself seriously then you go to a teacher Exactly. Because we, it's about your we take this seriously. We Absolutely. do not take this as a gimmick in any way. This is just as heartfelt as any other style of singing. Exactly. It doesn't matter. Yeah. If, if somebody, it actually happened many times, even lately, that when somebody comes to us, and they, I ask them, like, oh, what's the reason why you want to learn this? What's your goal? And they're like, well, it's just so funny. No, you're not going to learn that. Because, that's not no, going to be That's it. not motivation, because this is actually takes time to learn. So you have to uh, you sit down and practice. And if you have no passion for this, you're not gonna learn this. So forget it. It it is yeah, just like any other style. You really want to do this. Yeah, or not. yeah, yeah. No... Okay, so basically we give lessons in person and in online. 
And the online came, first of all, because when I started to teach uh, this style particularly, uh, I was still based in London and uh, I started to get inquiries from like further from London, uh, even outside of London. And I, at first I said like, no, I'm not sure actually it's gonna work. Even I, I thought it's not gonna work online. Mm -hmm. And, but then there were so many inquiries. So I was like, okay, let's, let's give let's it a go. It. Let's try, yes. So after a few lessons, I realized that it's actually working really, really well, just as like when you're in person. In fact, I have to say after so many years, uh, I have people right now online who are improving faster than the ones in person. So it has, it has nothing to do with the personal online. Yeah. It's it's absolutely uh, depends on the person. Yeah, what, what I see is that when I'm with a person in a room, they start looking all over the room. But when you're in front of a screen, you're just you have looking. To focus. Yeah, 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 there's you no have like to you're not, oh yeah, I need to, you know, like, or yeah. the, the actual focus is on the, mm -hmm. the teacher and it, it seems more. It, it, it sometimes means seems more in, intimate in some way, like mm -hmm. we're actually... Yeah, Interesting, just... yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to focus basically, I think, even more when you are on the screen. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. So how did you come into the picture, guys? Well, I saw Rocky's videos on YouTube. <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw them and I was very impressed. Um, and I basically... <laughs> oh, oh, I was. <laughs> But yeah, I was. I, I saw Rocky's videos on YouTube, and I was very impressed with the way she explained things. Finally, someone who could explain things in a way that actually is felt as well, and not just vague sensations, um, as other teachers have shown before. So I instantly contacted Rocky and asked if uh, if she would mind if I came over and mm -hmm. maybe. You she, know. He already wanted to teach, actually. So I was. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I, I was already teaching for a Danish company, um, only in Denmark and only physical lessons. So I was like, yeah, I want to do this more and actually do Skype mm -hmm. lessons as well. And and yeah, make it a, a way yeah, of living. Very quickly, actually, he became the teacher. Yeah, yeah. The teacher. The I was just <laughs> laughing because you said that you understood what I said. We are so different people. And but sometimes even, even though, when we speak, yeah, 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 we speak just kind of, we because we approach things so differently. Yeah. And I'm actually very glad that you understood that time. Yeah, like back then I just felt there was no one else that really put it out in a way that at least so close to what I'm feeling. Oh, it's good. You know, it's like... Good. It's good to know. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, I was just madly impressed and had to go and, nice. and meet you. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Of course, um, I'm all very fascinated by this and how I joined is uh, Matthew, the owner of RMS, approached me um, with this wanting to join, obviously he'd seen me sing a lot of times um, and funnily enough I was actually thinking about um, specialising in rock singing anyway <laughs> before nice. so it's kind of really random that this came out of the blue, it was kind of fate because um, when I did my years in uni I got the highest grades in rock and everyone told me how rock really suited my voice and I've always been like a big belty power ballad singer and used loads of distortion and some fry and everything and no one ever taught it properly. Um, I basically taught myself uni. and wrecked my voice a load of times before uni, like way before even. And then uni, they just give you these songs and don't give you any techniques to show you how to do it at all. And even so, you're yeah. saying that even the uni, they don't teach it properly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I see in Denmark as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So even at universities in Denmark, no. not happening. No, no, no. Not um, so yeah, so I've always wanted to. I was thinking about joining a course and learning about this and specialising in this area anyway and then it, it came along so of course I jumped on it and I'm really enjoying being a part of things and learning these techniques properly. She's very young yeah. so she brings some nice energy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah in the old dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rock, like rock singing is just shouting, but it's yeah, not belting. because Only yeah, belting. even belting when mm. somebody was belting, shouting that I just want to you know yeah. just get my hair and just you know pull it out because shouting is not a technical term for singing. No, it's if not. you if you want to keep your voice, you can't shout. Shout anybody can shout. My grandma mm. can shout. Yeah. She, she just doesn't need a technique. So no, if you if you don't want to lose your voice, you have to learn the proper way of belting. Mm. I'm I'm a belter as well, yeah. and I'm doing basically all day. Every day, and I don't. I haven't lost my voice like for like 12 years, mm -hmm. and I'm belting, yeah. and I'm loud. Yeah. yeah, and it's all about just the projection, basically. Okay.
or all these type of extreme vocal sounds, what we teach, vocal technique, what we teach. It's not only for you know, the metal heads, not no. only for the rockers. It's actually something you can use even R&B style, even jazz, even pop, yeah. like big name, like people can say like Christina, Christina, Christina yes. Aguilera, Celine Dion, uh, Bruno Mars. Yeah, as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, right. yeah, it's really cool. So <clears throat> all these these singers actually use this. If you go back to, for example, the God, like sixties. Like if you go, uh, the, um, sorry, like uh, lately I listened so many uh, Ray Charles, um, mm. J. James 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 Brown. Oh yeah, James yeah. Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. guy. Yes, <laughs> James Brown. Yeah, that's also actually a type of distortion. What we teach. Yeah. Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong, of course. That's a good yeah, one, yeah. Exactly. So we teach all these styles every sound that you could imagine yeah. yes. yes and of course we specialize in different things but it's it doesn't matter it's still the same core sensation that yes. we are then sorry yeah. going mm -hmm. from basically. yes exactly exactly yeah, yeah. so yeah we went uh, in january yeah, yeah, yeah we went to france grenoble to uh, to see a voice scientist and her team and her team, yes. Yeah. So basically there were a voice scientist, a speech therapist and an ENT. Two ENTs. Two ENTs, yeah. two ENTs, right. So what happened is basically that uh, they put the camera down to our throat and we went through all the styles, all every the sounds, style that every we style knew. We, we, we knew. So now we have an actual recorded footage and we saw with our own eyes every what's happening. Every single style looks. So yes. we do not, what it's yeah. the mystery is a little bit less of a mystery now. yes 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 exactly and uh, what actually i'm so happy that we heard that uh, the ent's said to us yes. that that uh, guys when i've heard what you're gonna do i was expecting you know like no jewels and polyps or whatever like like all destroyed the, voices yes, yeah 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 inflamed the uh, yeah, vocal cords and he said nothing, nothing. But our vocal cords are absolutely fine and healthy so that was one of the best. We, we kind of knew, but we were very yeah, happy yeah, to yeah, hear yeah, it right from here. professionals, yes, of yes, course. Yes, yes, So that was very good. And we, we've been doing this for like decades. Yeah, we can at least say decades, almost like 50 years together yes, or yes, something yes. insane like that. 50? Yeah, 50 or 30. Yeah, yeah, 15. Yeah, 15, 50 <laughs> yeah. together. But yeah. You're not that old. No. Yeah, no. sorry. <laughs> so over, yeah. yeah, definitely over like a 15 years. Yeah. I've also had a camera down my throat twice, by the way, just in yeah. case. Okay. Yeah, yeah, please, yeah. please, tell us. Yeah. Just in case. Well, when I was 16, I had a nodule. Because I was like self going for it, like proper ha! going See? for Very it. Very important. From when I was like, Need al help. always singing, but full on going oh. for it and belting and distorting from when I was like 13, 14 going for it. And yeah, I did have a nodule, but I've had another camera down my throat three or four years ago and it was completely clean there you Nothing. go mm. there you go so so and you can so you can cure nodules that's a myth oh yeah, yeah. with, with speech therapy you can yeah. speech therapy yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. need an operation and um, actually you don't Not recommend all, operations they, they all well, say it's the last yeah. thing that yeah you want. but um if you've got one or like kind of two like rubbing together or you can get it yeah. fixed with speech but therapy you can avoid yeah. it if you yeah. go to you can a proper avoid teacher it. yeah of course if you learn the course yes yes definitely yes yeah. So go to RMS, book a lesson. Yes. At least one. At least one. <laughs> <laughs> At least one. <laughs> and we have free consultations as well, but it's only for newly registered students. It can only happen once. It is not equal to a lesson, but yeah, but the consultation is basically for get to know each other, ask some questions, uh, but definitely not for technical uh, technical knowledge. Knowledge, or, yeah, yeah, it's not for technical knowledge. Yeah. yeah. And it's not equal to an actual lesson. No. It no. is just to hear what you want to achieve. And what we can help with. Yes. Yeah. And they actually, that person was a very good singer. I can tell. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, amazing. Because yeah, yeah, he has good there. videos on yeah on, on YouTube. Him. Absolutely, mm -hmm. great singer. But just because somebody is a great singer, it doesn't mean they can teach yeah. what they sing, mm -hmm. because teaching is also a profession. There is a different different type of uh, yeah, it's a different job literally. Yeah. So you know how to explain. You know we all how know to math. approach. We all know math. Yeah, but, but we can are not, we really explain yeah, exactly or even grammar. That's grammar our yeah. languages. Yeah. I learned it, I studied obviously, but I have no idea how to teach it. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So if uh, yeah, well you can you can watch these videos but we can make sure that basically we have we have like years and years a very long many many years of experience of teaching yes. teaching 
teaching and working with people. So we're not only singers, we're not only screamers, we are professional teachers. I was teaching martial arts before I even became a voice teacher. So I know how to teach the body already before that. Oh, so that's, that's, the, cool. that's the whole thing, right? We, we become teachers. Great. If it hurts, then probably we should go away from it. You know, yeah. like they... No. And they Guys, yeah, no, whatever right. you do, if it hurts, that's not correct. <laughs> no, that's just... A So, hi girls, I brought something uh, sweet from Denmark. What is some, it, Some Sorry. candy from <gasps> Denmark. Yeah, <gasps> let's try. Oh my god, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, let's try. Are you ready? One, dos, tres. Yes. Okay. Oh my god, no. I'm gonna chip it too. Mmm. Mmm. What you want? I don't want to eat this. <laughs> oh, hold on. It's getting better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, Rocky likes it. Okay. It's getting better now. Need some time. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm fine. You're getting it? Huh? Wow. Rocky is totally Danish. Yeah. Whoever was to speak. But then it gets stronger and stronger. I not have I bit it, but then didn't go for it. <laughs> 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 We were talking about having Slibovic as the only thing you could drink it with. Like, like to get rid of the taste. 